Hey everyone, it's Phoenix Tech here. Today, I will be reviewing the Razer Death Adder Elite and how it holds up for gaming in 2018. The Razer Death Adder Elite is another addition to Razer's selection of gaming mice. It was released in late 2016 as the successor to the Death Adder Chroma. It comes with 7 buttons in total with mechanical switches. It has the standard left and right click buttons, scroll wheel button, 2 buttons on the top, and 2 buttons on the left side. The buttons are pleasant to hear and respond well to clicking. This mouse has a high quality plastic construction, feeling firm and solid to the touch. The plastic covering attracts quite a bit of sweat and oil after much use, so I would recommend you to clean it every once in a while. The mouse uses an optical sensor with a 99.4% resolution accuracy according to the Razer website, with a max DPI of 16,000, an increase from the Razer Death Adder Chroma's 10,000 DPI limit. I tested the mouse on various games, including CSGO. It had a very low latency and was very accurate. The Death Adder Elite comes with two rubber side grips that provide you comfortable hand grips for gaming. It has a serrated scroll wheel, featuring little bumps that provide good traction. The mouse features LED lighting for the scroll wheel and Razer logo that provides nice aesthetics. All the buttons can be programmed via the Razer Synapse software, allowing you to add macros, bind the buttons to certain keys, and more. The software also allows you to change the color of the LEDs. At around $80 in 2018, this is one of the best gaming mice I've ever used, and I'd recommend it to any gamers.